You can't keep a good man down. Lord knows they've tried. Yes, yes, connoisseurs, I am back. I have returned after a, a year of overcoming so much diversity, adversity, after overcoming so much adversity, I'm here in one piece, and I'm here to continue doing both what I love and what I give back to the world, which is reviewing cereal as a professional, because there's, there's no professionals out there really doing what I do, and I think everything that we've we've faced as a as a country, as a society, as a world this last year has really tested us and made us made us rethink who we are and what we do. And I'm ashamed to admit I stepped away when I shouldn't have, when the world needed me most of all, I vanished. But it's time that I came back. And I mean I'll I'll catch you up to speed of what I've been through, but uh First, I just I want to say I hope that you're all still staying safe and masking up. I've got my I've got my mask that I made myself. I when this whole thing started, I tried to find some cereal mascot masks. Uh, I didn't find any, so I, I tried to think what mascot would wear a mask, and I didn't really think of any until I remembered the old Cookie Crisp mascot from the '90s, who was a burglar. And you know who was who was more likely gonna wear a mask than a burglar? So I, I made this myself. It's it's the burglar from Cookie Crisp from the '90s. I think it's a wolf now. I think that's you know PC. You can't have burglars selling cereal anymore. You know, can't vote either. But I made him on my own mask. So look at that. I'm gonna go into a store and say, Hey, where's the Cookie Crisp? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you want to buy these, you know. DM me or send me a private message. I'll, you know, make some more of these for like 25 bucks and send them your way. But uh, I'm going to catch you up to speed on where I've been and what's been going on the last year because it hasn't been easy. Uh, I know you think, you know, you sit in your high tower reviewing cereal. You must have quite the life. Well, no, this isn't the case. I'm very much a victim as much as so many other people are. And, uh, yeah, let me tell you just where the connoisseur has been throughout this endemic. So where have I been this last year? Oh, God, where haven't I been? Uh, first things first, uh, mid-March, after after the disaster of Diego Waffles' review through my compatriots, uh, Wacky Tobacky and Pipsqueak, you know, we, we parted ways around mid-March. And, you know, I was I was ready to put that part of my life behind me. I was ready to be my my own person for a change and not just who they wanted me to be, who my wife wants me to be, who society wants me to be. I was ready to take charge. And then, you know, the, the news chimes in on, on this whole thing just getting started. And I was, I, was, I was willing to look beyond that and towards my future, not a future that the world wants me to prescribe to. But the man just kept bringing me down. And this man in particular was none other than my own former friend, Wacky Tabacky, who gave me a call and slandered me uh, after everything we'd been through. And oh God, if, if I didn't tape all of my incoming calls, which everyone should do, uh, you never know who's going to try and drag you through the mud. But I'm, I'm going to let you listen to this and make your own decisions because you're smart. And, you know, just this is what I've been getting for a year now. Uh, ha have a listen. Hello. Hey, man. Oh, hey, hey! Great to hear from you. Uh, sticking with the program. What? Uh, oh, yeah. Sure. Hey, uh, listen. Do you? Uh... Sorry, I'm. I was eating some cereal when you called. <laughs> Yeah, it's tricks. Uh, it's the fruit shapes, not the circles. I think they knew that the circles lost points on the shape rating, so they did the smart thing and reverted uh, a review coming soon. There's the trolls from Trolls Two on the box. I think they they should have they should let R Lucky the Rabbit be in the Trolls Two movie to return the favor for letting the trolls be on his box. Yeah, no, that's uh, fantastic. Listen, man, I 
I have not been feeling too well ever since, uh, you know, we last parted ways about a week ago. Yeah, you sound awful. Are you eating a good breakfast? Yeah, no, I don't think it's breakfast, man. Uh, you know, there's this new thing, you know, that's going around. Oh, yeah, I think I heard something about it. You know what they say. No news is good news. Yeah, no, no, man. It's not It's not good news. No. Uh, yeah, so, uh, Donovan. Who's Donovan? Who's, oh, good God, Pipsqueak. Oh, the squeak. Ah, oh, fun times. Yes, the squeak. Well, he hasn't been feeling too well either. No. And, uh, and uh, so we're pretty sure that you had it and gave it to us. No, not for me. I think it's probably all the drugs that you guys did. And, you know, if you ask me, they let you go too early from the halfway house, and I tried to tell them that. No, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I, I think it was you, and I think you had it because you were coughing a lot that weekend. No, I had some cereal on the back of my throat. No, no, you... you. You were coughing a lot, and it, and it was not just when you were eating cereal. Okay, well, full transparency, I was a little woozy one day, but I took a Zikum uh, from the medicine cabinet, and that nipped that right in the bud. You can get that from any pharmacy. They have orange, they have grape, maybe they'll make a cereal out of it one day, but this thing, this this thing going around, it's only as big as you make it, my friend. That's words of wisdom for me. Well, be that as it may, can you just get tested and, 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 and tell us whether or not you have it? Because mm. we need to know, and I've had a pounding headache for days. Oh. I cannot breathe. And poor Donovan, man, he's got it even worse. I mean, he is, he's doing bad. Okay, man. I mean, Pipsqueak did community theater. That was his thing. You know, I bet this is just one of his little skits. Improv, maybe. You know, a lot of people have a bowl of orange juice vitamin c alongside a bowl of cereal that's in all the commercials for the balanced breakfast table they say they're making a vaccine for this thing but if you ask me that's the cure right there if you ask me okay um well so just please just get tested or or at mm -hmm. least swear to me that, that you won't go anywhere near anybody well i'm gonna have to go get cereal soon i gotta get some more just do a curbside pickup there. Nah, see, they don't always get me the promotional limited edition boxes. Sometimes they get me the family sized. I'm not a family. I'm me. I no, nah, man. I gotta go in there for myself. This is this is my my well being. This is my life. Okay. Okay. Well, if 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 you gotta do all that, at least at least isolate from your wife, man. Yeah, she <laughs> she's already way ahead of you on that one by at least a month. Hey, hey, look, man. I. Love talking to you, but I gotta go. You, you're making my trick soggy here, man. I got a review coming soon. Wait. Huh? Wait. Um, yeah. They took into the hospital. So that was really the last time I spoke to either of them. Uh, he, he kept on trying to call me, but at some point I just started ignoring him, and that's what the, the lawyer especially advised me to do. Uh... Yeah, who knows what's happened since then. It's certainly none of my concern. But, uh, some good news. Uh, when the first stimulus came around, I I put it all in General Mills and Kellogg's uh, stocks. Uh, because, you know, when people are inside, what are they going to do more than eat cereal? And I, I think, uh, let me see if, if I can... So, this is General Mills. I, I got in around this point... And things only went up from there. And then for Kellogg's, is this Kellogg's? Yeah, so again, uh, you know what they say, buy high, sell low, or, or the opposite of that. That's what I saw from all my YouTube videos. But things are only going up for the cereal industry. Uh, I watched a lot of videos on the stock market. I watched The Wolf of Wall Street and really... You know, they say it's you should invest in yourself, but you should also invest in stock. And that's what I did. And as as more of the stimuli came in, I just kept on channeling and channeling as much as I could into that cereal stock. I, at this rate, by Christmas, I should be something of a millionaire. Uh, 
And the great thing is when you're married, they give you twice as much stimulus. So I was able to put in twice as much. So I'll get double the profits when I sell. And if you're holding, if you're holding for General Mills or Kellogg's, don't sell. We're going to the moon on this one. It's only going to go up from here because when things open back up, they're gonna, there's going to be cereal bars. There's going to be cereal parties. Everyone's going to be all in on a good breakfast. So uh, it turns out, you know, some of the accusations against me weren't unfounded. I, I did end up getting sick. Uh, I survived. As you can see, I, w I wouldn't be making this video if I, if I didn't survive. And uh, I got it again. Uh, you can get it twice, apparently. That was like four months after I got it the first time. And my apartment kicked me out, uh, my wife and I out. So I moved, upgrade MTV Cribs. Maybe we'll do a Cribs connoisseur someday and I'll show you uh, the new place. Uh, it's it's much better. That, that old place was really cramping my creative style. But uh, the other good news is I got it a third time. I got sick a third time uh, around the end of last year and some scientists reached out to me and did a lot of tests and you know, uh, took a lot of blood. And they said, out of concern for both my health and the health of those around me, I got to be one of the first recipients of the vaccine. So I'm, I'm pretty much invincible by this point. I've been, you know, going out, uh, out on the town, buying up all the cereal I can. I think we're really reaching the end of this thing, but I still wanted to lay low uh, because I just, it, this whole experience with Wacky Tabacky and Pipsqueak really took a lot out of me emotionally. So you're probably wondering, what made me want to come back? Well, I saw this thing in the news just recently about Cinnamon Toast Crunch and some, some guy on Twitter who found shrimp tails. They're, they're disparaging cereal, you know? When I was a kid, you got prizes in your cereal, and instead of complaining and trying to cancel the company, you were grateful and you made the most of those prizes. I mean, it's like the song, shrimp tails, shrimp tails, roly poly shrimp tails, shrimp tails, woo -hoo, every day, shrimp tails, woo. Uh, but it's, I had to come back because too, too much, it's too much negative PR and negative press and there needs to be a counterbalance. It needs to be two sides of one coin in journalism, and I am the other side of that coin, the heads, because that's the lucky side that you always want to find. Well, folks, you can't get any luckier than me. Uh, survived it three times. I, I can't think of anyone else who's had that. But uh, it, it should come as no surprise that our review for this week is the one that everyone is trying to bring down right now, my main man, C.T. Crunch. So folks, let's jump right in to our first review in more than a year, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. All right, folks, we're back at it. This is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Now, if you're a, if you're a cereal connoisseur fan, and I know you all are if you're watching this, you should remember our four points. Uh, is there a mascot? The back of the box, uh, the shape of the cereal, and of course, the taste of the cereal. So. Let's start off with the first one. Is there a mascot? Uh, now, if you look at the box, your eye is, your eye is instantly drawn to these little these little devils here. Uh, I think they're actually cinnamon toast squares. Now, this is unusual because not many mascots are the actual cereal itself, uh, because you know that that implies that you're eating the mascots, and you know people have a lot of moral quandaries when faced with this. But I, I do have a problem with these characters. For one thing, I think they're trying to rip off the minions. Uh, and I'm not a big fan of the minions. I think they go a little too far in certain places. But another thing is that if you've been uh, a serial lover for decades, you'd remember that at one point there was a kindly old man on the front of this box called Chef Wendell. And I'm not sure what happened to him in recent years. Maybe he got me too would uh, or it just, there's no more room for the geriatrics in today's fast serial world, but he's taken a leave of absence and been replaced by these little hellions, and I, I think it's a sign of, of disrespect, as much as I love the serial, you can't beat the classics. 
Uh, but that's a conversation for another day. So that's it's a low rating for the mascot. I think they should bring back Wendell. I like to think he's still back there making all the cinnamon toast crunch, and maybe he's just too modest to be on the box anymore. So our next point is the back of the box. Now, uh, again, not very high points because this isn't much of anything. It's just uh, a little a little cinnamon hellion again. This one's making hard eyes, so at least it's coming from a place of kindness. But there's just not much to do here. There's no maze, there's no crosswords, there's not a little find the difference game. The If, if I were a kid and this were staring at me, I'd feel very, uh, I'd feel like my privacy has been invasive. He's just watching you constantly, and he's even in love with you. And if you're not ready for that kind of commitment, it's, you know, there, there shouldn't be a relationship in serial. It should just be a very give-take and he's like, oh, I love you. I, I'm not here for that. I'm just here to eat my breakfast. Uh, but I digress. Uh, so we're not coming out the gate very strong in terms of these guys all over the box and th the fact that there's no game on the back. But let's go to the meat and potatoes or the cereal and potatoes, if you will, the shape of the cereal. All right, folks, here we are back at it again, looking at a cinnamon toast crunch square. Uh, as the name implies, this is your basic square shape. Uh, four sides, as is typical of the square. And if you remember the commercials, there are indeed cinnamon swirls in every bite, and it is coated in sugar. Uh, sugar is a staple to most of the best cereals, and there is no shortage of it here. Uh, now, for comparison, this is meant to look like a piece of cinnamon toast, so I have an actual piece of cinnamon toast I got ready uh, to compare. It's it's more bread than toast. Uh, my toaster's in the shop right now uh, for about a week. Uh, so uh, if you look here, they're a little different. This one's more rounded at the top, but that's more reliant on the type of bread that I got. Uh, I put some cinnamon in there and some sugar, except I didn't really have sugar, so it's more salt, but they look the same. But if you were to maybe put one of these in a, a shrinky dink, I'm pretty sure you'd get something like this coming out of it, which just goes to show the amount of research and uh, commitment to their craft that they really went all in on to make this feel like a toast cereal. Uh, so very high points for the shape of the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Let's go to the next step, the, the creme de la creme or the milk de la milk, the taste of the cereal. All right, so here we go for the biggest and most important uh, rating, the taste test, the taste of the cereal. As you can see, I have my specialty bowl, which has a built-in straw so I can drink the milk. Only real cereal experts have these. You can get them in any store, though. Uh, let's go with our basic pour. I can vacuum that. Uh, I got this milk I've been using recently. This is Khalifa Farms. I, I like it because it has a beautiful woman on it. I only just started buying this less than a year ago, but if, if all milk came with a beautiful woman on the bottle, I think it'd be, you know, the best-selling milk of all time. I'd like to go to her farm someday. Maybe she's there. Okay, let's get it on. Mm. Mm-hmm. It tastes the cinnamon. It tastes toasted. And your ears aren't deceiving you. There is a crunch. They've already met all their promises in the name, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. There's no false advertising here. Mm. You know, maybe it's good that they have those little annoying guys on the front of the box that I like to think that I'm eating them now. <laughs> what do you have to say to that? You gonna replace Chef Wendell? Well, this is what I say to you. Mmm. That is a high quality cereal. No shrimp tails here, just good cereal. Mmm. This is really what cereal should be about, you know? The consistency. The sweetness and it complements the milk so well. 
you can't get this in any other breakfast. Mmm. That's good stuff. Well, folks, I'm going to finish my delicious bowl of cereal, and then I'm going to vacuum the sugar off my coffee table. But I'm not going anywhere, you know. Cancel culture, you can't come for me. I've gotten the vaccine. I've had it three times. I'm invincible by this point. You think you're what's going to take me down? I don't think so. No. I have a purpose. And it's to review every cereal on the market so that the consumers can make their own decisions based on what I tell them to buy. So, you haven't seen the last of me. I'm going to be I'm going to be posted more regularly. It's time to return to normalcy, and that includes you watching my videos. So, oh, uh, shoot, that reminds me before I go. Uh, this episode is dedicated to Donovan McGinty. McGinty, McNavis, it was one of the two, uh, who sadly passed away on April 20th, 2020, from uh, unknown complications. Uh, 420!